organization. They are trying to cancel me, get me banned from Instagram for something I did not say. So checkyourfact.com is a for-profit organization, a fact-checking organization funded by Meta, that's Mark Zuckerberg, the biggest, one of the biggest Democrat donors. And they are also funded by Daily Caller. They uh, label the post, the distribution went down, and they are going to do this again because they have done it before. But this one is different because they literally made up a fake claim. They said something that I did not say in the video. So the video is the one on the view with me and Biden's press secretary. She's talking about the economy and the jobs under Biden administration. In the video, I made two points. One, the economy is not even close to where it was under Trump. Gas prices rose before the Ukraine war, thanks to Biden restricting domestic energy production. The second one, 90% of the jobs that Biden created were jobs recovered from the pandemic. So in their website, I will include it somewhere on the screen. Fact check. Quote, Ukrainian President Zelensky visited Joe Biden at the White House recently, according to NBC News. Biden warned of further aggression from Russia if they are victorious in Ukraine. But Republicans want tougher border policies before agreeing to send more aid to Ukraine. We didn't even talk about that. I didn't say anything about the borders, about the aid to Ukraine, about Ukraine, nothing. So they literally, in their article right now, the fact check part is something that we did not even talk about. And that's the claim they used to fact check the video and de-boost the content. So this is not media biased anymore. This is pure evil. The fact check that they made is the misleading part. What they say is the misleading part because we didn't talk about that at all. So checkyourfact.com. Fuck you.